is Bruce Kirk making news here on Eyewitness News at 5.30. Hundreds of unemployed Uncola workers go to court to try to get their jobs back. We'll have complete details. Animals used for some medical experiments are uh, actually spawning some questions and some controversy tonight. Also this evening, a walk on thin ice makes the dangers of winter hitting home even more. We'll explain. And the cars are gone. The excitement is settled, but was the auto show a success? We'll find out tonight here at 5.30. This is Bruce Kirk on Eyewitness News tonight here at 5.30. Some uh, alarming new figures out, some new statistics on offenders and victims involving sexual abuse. We'll have the details on that for you. Did Dan rather bushwhack the vice president? The controversy continuing tonight. Also, some results of an exclusive Eyewitness News poll reveal some eye-opening opinions of George Bush and the Contras. And East Detroit facing a flap over the city logo. The ACLU says it's illegal. All your news here at 5.30. This is Bruce Kirk on Eyewitness News tonight at 5.30. Good news for metro area auto workers after Chrysler has pulled out of Kenosha. We'll sort that out for you. Detroit school closing, sparking some worry and anger for parents and students tonight. Also, we'll learn how a common over-the-counter drug could lower your risk for heart attack. And an exclusive Eyewitness News poll revealing that one Soviet leader may actually be more popular than some Republican candidates in the race. All your news here at 5.30. This is Bruce Kirk on Eyewitness News tonight here at 5.30. Controversy, criticism, and a party divided mark the start of the state Republican convention. We'll have a team report. Local students sounding off about possible AIDS testing on college campuses. We'll have that story. Also, from her days with Sonny to her status as a superstar. Tonight, the marketing of Cher. We'll have a special story on that. All your news, weather, and sports back here on Eyewitness News tonight with Cher Margolis and me at 5.30. This is Bruce Kirk on Eyewitness News at 5.30. As Eyewitness News first reported, George Perlis has decided to stay with MSU. To keep his future in football here, we'll have full details plus some reaction to that. A lot of questions and few answers about the strange death of this local student during a basketball game. We'll explain that. Results of an exclusive Eyewitness News poll coming up tonight on uh, some Republican issues for you. And we're also going to learn why two area townships want out of Wayne County. All your news at 5.30. Afternoon on Eyewitness News at 5:30. A casino raid tips the tables on hundreds of local gamblers. We'll have full details. What happens to criminals when the jails are full? We'll take an in-depth look in our team reports. An alternative to heart surgery. Well, a new technique developed by a local doctor has the medical community talking. And a grassroots effort to turn corn into clothes. We'll have the incredible story. Join us for Eyewitness News right here at 5:30. This is Bruce Kirk here on Eyewitness News tonight at 5.30. After suffering a massive stroke, former governor G. Men and Soapy Williams is dead at the age of 76. Joe Weaver takes a look back at the man and his career. Does sex education belong in Detroit's Catholic schools? Our Sherry Margolis has the story on that. Also, medical reporter Kay Lowry has some tips on how, uh, well, to battle the two flu bugs this season that are out. Also, the football indoors, Metro businesses and others awaiting the premiere of Arena Football. Your news at 5.30.